<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to fix a hoverboard. It can be any hoverboard. Hover one. Yeah, we're going to do it with the cover one. This is my old cover one from like two, three years ago. And we know how to fix it. So we decided to make a YouTube video on it. Okay, so, so let's see guys. So let's see, I'm pretty... This is pretty much our new channel, but it's on the same channel. So the rest of our videos are going to be hoverboard videos, how to wheelie and stuff like that. Okay, so the first so video is about how to fix the hoverboard. Wait, can you tell Okay. So guys, what you need to do is you need a mallet or a sledgehammer. Probably a mallet works best and you need a screwdriver about this size. A pretty big screwdriver. And see if your wheels are like this, they barely move. See if the wheels like this, they barely move. Like it's so hard to move. And then the other wheel, it just runs. See how it goes perfect? This one barely even spins. And this is the noise. Hear that? So you're going to see that some um some screws right here, they're loose. And if you can't get it with it. And if they're too far out, you're going to stick it under. And if you can't fit it, you're going to hit it. Just like that. And then, you'll be able to fit it in. And then you'll pop it up, just like this. And then get another screwdriver and screw it in. But I don't have to do that. So, I'm just going to tighten it. But you know, it takes a little bit of time to get it, but then it'll work. And it goes in pretty far. There we go. And then it runs a little bit better. We still got a couple screws. You want to do the next one? Sure. Okay, alpha. Okay. Let's see. This one is not that tight. See, wait, wait, let's show them. Yeah, it's not that tight. It has to go be all the way in. Tight in. Okay. Let me tight a little more. Just like that. Alright, I'm gonna tight the other one too. Let's see, that one's pretty good, but I'm gonna yeah, just to make that one sure. Just to make sure. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go over them one more time and tie in those buttons. Oh, oh, they went that bite. I think that one's good. Okay. Oh, oh that one you this need really bad. Let's show them. Show them. This is popping up. Yep. Wait, let's show them what, what we had to do with before. Guys, look what we had to do with before. Let me get it to where it's like that. I'm just going to loosen this, but then I can show them. So, see, guys, let me loosen this real quick. And then once you, got, once you guys hit it like that, hit it back the other way, and then it's not all weird. Yeah, see, I'm going to loosen this one, and I'm going to show you guys what we had to deal with. Remember how loose that one was, Irma? Yeah. It was so loose and like crazy. I'm gonna push it down. Yeah, we had one like this. Show them that one. They see the one that is popping up. See, wait. If you have something like that, what you're going to do is you're going to push it in. I'm gonna have to hit it two more times. And then we'll just find it and it's very hard. Yeah. Push it in there. Crazy and then when you have it like this, you gotta pop it up. Gonna hold it as best as you can. Do you want that thing? You gotta pop it up really good. Try your best to hold it. Try to get the screwdriver out and if it falls down, that's okay. But see how it's popping up a little bit? What you're going to do is you're going to grab it, pop it up more, and push as hard as you can to tighten it. It's 
swear to God, push as hard as you can. You know why? For then, if you don't tighten it all the way, at least it goes in and then it won't come out that easily. So push as hard as you can. So it's pretty tight. It's not tightening. Get it to a spot where it pops up. Let's see how it's like that. Get it to a spot right in the middle where it pops up a lot. Then tighten it. Your hands might be a little bit dirty. It's fine. tightened like see guys it it can get to that that tight show them what you're gonna see how tight it gets it goes all the way in there that's how tight it needs to be all the other ones are like that we should tighten this one you want to tighten the last one no i'm fine i gotta tighten it just like the same This one needs a little bit. Like that much, right? That much, right? No. Oh, they went. Sorry. That's. See? I can try, be tightened a little bit more. That's good. And then this one. Just go over all of them and tighten them as much as you can. Then you're going to roll like that. Then you're going to just roll it. Make sure it rolls clean. Then you're going to hit these back. Make sure you're hitting it on the tire for then it doesn't damage your logo on the tire. There you go, once you've done that, you'll hear that, right? That one you did a little bit too much, hit it back the other way. In a little bit, in a little spot. Or just hit it as hard as you can everywhere. Just like that. Try to get every spot. I'm going to focus to my leg for that stays. There. And you see how the screws are coming a little bit on looser? You'll just have to tighten those real quick again. It's super easy. And if this keep ha keeps happening, you just get a new hoverboard. Or you can put the glue in the screws. Or yeah, or you can put the glue in the screws and then it won't come out. But like if it doesn't work and it's glued outside, you just get a new hoverboard. good make sure they're all very tight and then if you need to the other wheel you can but we don't need to so peace out guys